Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is gonna be a talk tarot. Let's talk about the star card. So this is the star card from the original Rider Waite. Um, this was my very first tarot deck. Um, and I wanted to, let's just do some reflections on the star. Um, especially, especially because we are in the month of February, which is my birthday month. Um, and happy birthday to those of you who are my fellow Aquariuses and Pisces. Um, I'm on the Pisces Aquarius cusp, so I do identify with Aquarius traits. Um, and what better to talk about the star for the Aquarius season. <laughs> um, but basically, the, the process of healing, the process of forgiveness, the process of instilling hope and faith and your spiritual journey and your awakened state of being and all of the above is everything that the star card resembles. This card is um, always a, a symbol of hope, of, of always a symbol of spiritual healing and the need to forgive and forget and let go and grow. Um, and so I just, I don't know, I just felt really called to talk about the star. It's been a while since I've done a talk tarot and I really wanted to kind of get back into the groove of that. So now that I have some time, <laughs> let's do it. So the star card, whenever that pops up for, um, for you in spiritual readings, obviously, um, this card would be a symbol of a need for, I, I would think of it as like a spiritual 911, okay? This could be where yourself or your client is in need of kind of re, re-identifying who they are, what they want, what they believe in, their belief systems. This could be maybe a shakeup that your client or yourself is having with your, you know, with yourself and the, what you believe in, your connection to, you know, the higher realms or God or spirit or your guides or the angels or whoever, whatever, however you believe. <laughs> Um, I am of the mind that there is no right or wrong way to believe. There's no right or wrong way to express your beliefs. Um, I, for one, still identify with God source creation. Um, so if I say God, that's because that's how I believe, but, um, I just mean in general for anything. So, but I'm going to say God because it's, that's, that's just what I believe and it's easier for me to just say it. <laughs> it rolls off the tongue easier. Um, but basically in a spiritual reading, the star card is going to represent um, usually like a, a 911, a, a need for re-identifying and re, um, revamping. Maybe it's refreshing your belief system. Maybe that your client or yourself is going through um, some sort of a crisis where you're, you know, you're really questioning what your beliefs are. Maybe you're coming out of a, of a whole line of believing a certain way and now you're believing something else. <laughs> Maybe you are, um, you know, dabbling in a new faith or you are walking back taking you know a, a step back into a faith that you walked away from um whatever the case may be the star card is that it's also a, like to me it's a very liberating um card to me spiritually it's liberating it's you being free you being comfortable in your own skin she's absolutely gorgeous in all of her naked glory and she is out there for the world to see so i always take this card as um on a spiritual standpoint being 100 percent liberated and comfortable with yourself with your belief systems you have come through a lot and you are embracing your own path like you are meant to okay now if the star card were to come up in a love related reading for yourself or a client, this might be um, the process of a healing. So maybe your client or yourself came out of a long, um, crazy divorce or breakup or whatever. And there's a need for healing um, in that process. This card can come up. This card could be a sign of hope that things are going to get better if things are rocky at the moment. Um, the star card could be, um, a symbol of self-love. I always think of this too in love readings. Sometimes the client is so focused on how do I obtain love 
that they're they're not paying attention to their themselves like what they personally need so the star card can often symbolize um you know loving yourself needing to love yourself more um making sure you are taking care of yourself making healthier ch decisions and choices you know that kind of thing um in love and relationships this could be maybe the need to purge to let go of forgive okay I, I always say like you're seeing the water flowing from the bottles you are releasing okay so if you are in a relationship and you pull the star card and you're just kind of feeling some disconnect with you and your lover this might be conversation that needs to happen this could be a confession that needs to take place maybe secrets are going to be spilled you know that kind of thing um I, there's a lot of different ways that you could read this card. I mean, I can go on forever about it. <laughs> I just want to kind of give you some ideas just off the top of my head. Um, if this card came up in money related or career path readings, this could be maybe a sign that's saying the tough times are almost over. Um, it could be like saying, keep your eye on the prize to stay motivated to, you know, to keep enhancing, keep manifesting that money. Okay. Um, this could be a flow, like a card of flowing, showing the flow of money coming through that it's going to be fruitful. Okay. Oops. <laughs> um, this could be also working alone, like entrepreneurship. I just, I don't know. This card to me screams like she's, she's by herself. She is having it. So maybe that's a sign of entrepreneurship or a path of solo work, not working so much with teams or with a bunch of people, but more so doing your own thing. Um, also pay attention to like when you're doing readings, pay attention to the number. Um, so this card, the star card is the number 17. Um, so you can, you know, if you're doing time frames, 17 could be a specific date. You can, um, you can count up. So one plus seven equals eight. So it could be August, the month of August. Um, it could be the eighth of a month or the 18th or the 28th. I mean, I do that sometimes in readings. It's basically like what you feel, okay? <laughs> um, it could also be eight weeks, eight months, or eight years, which eh, it depends. I guess it depends on the question. Um, so it could be that. If you're doing like a type of reading where you're talking about a specific person, it could be a female because, you know, the star card, She's it is, it's a female, or um, it could be... Um, how else would you like look at this in time frames? Um, I think of this as like a spring card. It looks kind of springy to me or summer because she's all naked. <laughs> so, you know, the season could be spring or summer season. Um, and then also, obviously, the star card is the Aquarius. So, you know, it could be an Aquarius person or Aquarius personality traits. Um, so those are just different ways that you can look at a card and and utilize you know the pieces of it to do a reading um i hope that this helped you i kind of wanted i kind of wanted like get back into this series the talk tarot series where we just like kind of discuss a tarot topic and and all of that i don't want this video to be super long so i'm not gonna hold you guys up much longer but let me know what you think um how else would you read the star card if maybe some other ideas popped up in your mind, but I didn't say it. Um, so we can start a dialogue in the comment section. And as always, you know, have a beautiful um, time studying your tarot and keeping your tarot studies, you know, keep it going. And um, we will connect another day with another card, whatever one I intuitively feel drawn to. I was thinking like maybe I should go through the deck in order, but I'm like, nah, I think I'm just gonna like, whatever card I feel drawn to at the time, I will talk about. So today was the star. Um, so have a beautiful rest of your day, you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, my loves.